Hey everyone, it's Mario. I made fish for lunch today, but I wanted something to go along with it, so I decided to make some onion rings from scratch. Yeah, I know you can go frozen, but I figured I'd give it a shot, so let's see how it goes. Okay, first thing, most importantly, you need an onion. Um, you can use white, yellow, or uh, sweet onions. I hear Vidalia is good. I only have a small onion, unfortunately. Uh, this is a sweet onion. It doesn't say what kind of sweet onion, but that's what we're going to use. And we need to cut this into uh, thin slices, maybe a quarter of an inch or so. Now that they're cut, we have to separate them. Okay, I'm going to set these aside for a second. Okay, I'm going to add a cup of flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to mix this up. Now this is probably too much. This is enough for a large onion, but uh, unfortunately I only have the small one. So look, there's going to be a little bit of waste here. While I'm at it, I'm going to add a little pepper, just for the hell of it. Next thing I'm going to put the onion rings, just uh, flour dip them as the first step. Take those back out. Need an egg here. that in. Gonna add a cup of milk. Probably could have used a bigger bowl for this. Now there is a lot of batter left. Um, I could probably refrigerate this and when I make more just have some separate flour in there. Let me get the breadcrumbs ready so I have them. Okay, let me get the onion rings, put it in the batter. Pretty messy, folks. For convenience sake, I'm just going to put the breaded onto this plate. Probably would have been better off putting the breadcrumbs in a bowl. And I think this glove's got it. Go. Actually, I'm going to stick them right into the air fryer. Okay, we got our onion rings in there, gonna pop them in. We are gonna do about 360 for 10 minutes. Uh, probably needs less than that, but we'll, we'll check it part way through. One thing I forgot to show was I did spritz it with a little uh, olive oil just to kind of coat it so that the breadcrumbs cook properly. Okay, I'm gonna take these out and give them a shake. spray down they are sticking a little bit well more than a little bit so I'm gonna take them out and shake them a little more often okay let's transfer these over to a plate and I do not know if I like the way these are looking but uh, I'm gonna pick the best one I see there and uh, give it a try Okay, they're not bad. Hmm. Even though the onion is uh, a sweet onion, it's a little strong. Anyway, I will say this. <clears throat> it worked out okay. However, the amount of effort into making them, battering them, maybe there's a better way. If there is, make sure you mention it below. I can only see the reason why you want to do this is if there's a blizzard, you're snowed in, you hanker for some onion rings, and you just happen to have an onion because most people have flour and baking soda, uh, baking powder laying around and make them. But, um, 
I would just prefer to go to BJ's and buy a big bag of their onion rings, froze them, and do it. But this is good. Uh, you know, maybe it's a, a snowy day and you want something to do with your kids. It's got to make a mess. If I was to show you what I went through in real time to batter those properly and bread them, you would have been shaking your head and you would have left two minutes after the video started. But these actually... Now they've had a couple more. Some of them are better than others, but I would say, was this a success? Sure. Would I do it again this way? Oh, lost it. No, I wouldn't. I would just, uh, again, buy them and go in. Buy them and throw them in the air fryer. Quicker, easier, less mess, and pretty tasty too that way. Yeah, I know. I'm back again. Uh, after having a couple, I decided that they were actually better than I originally thought. So I'm going to add some ketchup to them and see how they taste. Here goes nothing. Still tastes good. Um, some people have that. It's like a mustard sauce of some sort. I don't like the taste of that, but the, as I kept eating more onion rings, I must have hit some good ones and bad ones, you know, as, as far as the amount of batter or, or breading that got on it. Yeah. Much better. As a last bit of uh, onion ring information, back in the day, the 99 had the best onion rings. I like the thin onion rings, like a, a shoestring style. Then they got rid of them and brought back these, uh, the real fat onion rings, and I never cared much for those. So the second best place that I found that has them, um, that makes them that style thin, is the Chateau Restaurant. You know, they're located a few in our area. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing and I will see you on the next one.